Hello. I know that it has been a long while again. Not as long as it has been in the past, but I believe it's been about a month. I didn't actually look before I started recording this since I've made my last video. However, I need to be fair to myself and to other people that might view this. I have not been okay. And one of my personality, we'll say traits instead of flaws, is that when I'm not doing well is that I retreat and I kind of go into hiding. Well, I guess maybe that is a flaw, right? That's not good. Well, I go into hiding and I just don't want to bring anything negative to the conversation. If I have like ups and downs, like I don't mind that. That's life. Everybody has that. But if everything in my life is just going crappy, 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 and I don't have anything like positive to say, I just rather not, you know, I just rather not. I'd rather not bring you down, have an awkward conversation. I don't need the self pity. I just, I'm just going to stay to myself. And after doing that for a little while, I realized that's not a healthy Thing either so what I'm doing is I'm kind of stepping outside my comfort zone I'm letting you guys know like hey things have still been pretty difficult but I have been um, I have chosen to get out of bed every day and put one foot in front of the other and try to strive for better moment better moments and better days um, my last video I kind of broke down I hadn't been doing well and I kind of threw a Hail Mary and said, pray for me. And I admitted that I don't really know what I believe in, which honestly is a little bit harder for me to confess than what you would think. People say it all the time, but I, I want to believe in God. I want that hope. I really need that hope, but it's been kind of kind of challenging to go through the losses that I've continuously been going through and to keep that hope going. And as much as I'd like to say that um, prayers and thoughts have helped us, they haven't. We're still in the same jam. However, I do want to say like anybody that took time out of their day to like pray for us or keep us in their thoughts, like that's a gift and that's beautiful and it was well received by me and I appreciated it. I just can't say that anything has changed. I've had a couple of doors open and that's even worse because they open up that door and you get a peek inside of like what looks so grand and then that door shuts and it, it really, it de it's devastating. It's devastating because you're like, there it is, there it is, there's my there's my hope. And then it just, it's, it's gone again. So yeah, I was not going to contribute any more darkness. Wasn't going to happen. You guys have been wonderful. You're like, you can cry. You need to be honest. I am going to be honest. I haven't been doing okay. However, I needed to work on that a little bit on my own and figure some stuff out. And one of the things that I did figure out was what does make me happy is helping others. So I've been doing things that fill my bucket that don't necessarily fill my pockets, but they fill my bucket and that brings joy to me. And what brings joy to me is bringing joy to others. So I feel like that's a win-win, especially in like a really shady world right now. And you can take that however you want to, but like, it's kind of nasty out there. So I'm like, if I can, you know, just try to give out 10 random compliments a day and tell this person and this person that they look grand and like uh, genuinely mean it. Like, it has been wonderful to see those people's faces light up. And then I've been doing the sun catcher thing. Like some of you are familiar with that. Like, let me just spit this spiel out real quick. Doing the sun catchers fills my bucket in ways that I do not know how to describe. Not only do I get to share Isaiah, I get to donate sun catchers. I get to donate to NAMI, to One Tree. I get to bring light to others who may be in the dark. Sometimes it's very difficult for me because people are buying them for many different reasons, birthday celebrations, but memorials. And that's hard when I have to write a card or I see what it's for, but there is still light in that because I am part of the healing process and I am part of the journey of sharing light with them and the memories of their loved one or bringing light and hope to get through their next journey or path in life. And it's like this constant reminder of, of rainbows and light. And so, yeah, it's been very bucket filling. And the other thing that I have not shared before, but um, 
story time. Before we lost Isaiah, I had volunteered a lot with the girls. They were younger and I had volunteered a lot in their school. And then the school is like, hey, would you like to work here? And then that led into working during the day and then it, it led into aftercare. And I have found myself working an aftercare program again here and it's been a long while since I've done so, but let me tell you that it has been so rewarding. It doesn't fill my pockets, but I get hugs and love and sometimes hectic, crazy days where I leave with headaches, but <laughs> they're kids, it'll happen. I love it. It has been so rewarding and they just bring me so much joy and what to others might be complete chaos, I embrace because when there's complete chaos and I have five kids tugging at me, I can't think about anything other than those kids and what I'm doing in the moment. And that's all that matters. And the bonus is, well, not only one of my daughters is there, but I get to be with like my daughter. And so it's just been, it's been great. And I love it. So there's been some changes, I guess. I've been working on filling up my bucket. And although things have been getting a little bit darker for us and I'm really scared of what lays ahead, I am happy to say that I've been working on trying to be a light and a positive influence on those around me. And I'm trying to work on how I handle the situations that I find myself in and that are going on around me because that's all I can do is take care of myself and how I project my inner light to the world, right? What I contribute to the world. So I'm just working on what I have to contribute that can be hope and light. So here's my truth and honesty. Things have been really shitty dark. I have contemplated taking my life and moments through these years. There have been plenty of days that I have cried in my bathroom until my eyes were swollen, swollen shut for days, till I couldn't cry anymore. There are plenty of times that I sent a text message out to someone and then they responded back and I didn't respond any further. I have been mean to myself. I have been angry at the world, but I have chosen somehow or another to live and walk and get up each and every day. Some days are really difficult, but I do believe that Isaiah would want me to push forward and that there is hope and light in a life worth living. And I do truly believe that everybody matters. It's what we personally choose to contribute to the world that defies whether we are the good and the light or the evil and the darkness in this world. And I'm just gonna choose as much as I can to be light. So um, with that being said, that's pretty much all I got. I'm just gonna keep putting one foot in front of the other. I'm gonna try to be positive and uplifting. I'm gonna try to ride this high of whatever it is and just hope for the best. There's gotta be one door that stays open, right? Like a broken hinge or something? <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, but if you don't feel like anybody cares about you, I know this sounds stupid cheesy, but I do. I really, truly believe that everybody matters and has a purpose. So um, I hope maybe that's enough for you if you're struggling today. All right, peace, love, and happiness, and try to be like that that awesome light force on the world because maybe like you know if there's enough of us all right